Hi guys, I'm Daisy, and I'm starting a new YouTube channel. It's going to be focusing on the Victorian era. The Victorian era was when guys wore suits, girls wore big poofy skirts, they had their hair weird, floriography, which I'll talk about later, they had factory workers as kids, that's nice. It was from 1827 to 1901. See, and we're going to be focusing on floriography. Choreography is basically the language of flowers. So basically back then, everyone pretty much knew the meaning of literally every single flower that anyone knew had a meaning and that they could basically decipher. So this wasn't really like a girly thing to do because men and women both did it, just so you know. Wait, is that a flower in her hair? I think it is. Hmm, I'll have to look into that later. Anyway, an example of this is a snapdragon. It means presumption. Snapdragons like to presumption may derive from a medieval fashion practice. Practice. Maidens would wear snapdragons in their hair to show that they were not interested in unsolicited attention from men. The flower warned young men against presumption in a subtle and elegant way. You compare it with an acidel or holly. What are the next one? Daisy means innocence, childhood, and purity. Oh, that's my name. Okay, this is really long. Just this is long too. Okay. This means honeysuckle is devotion and affection. Victorians claim that sleeping with honeysuckle flowers under your pillow will cause you to dream of your true love. This belief may have originated with Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, in which Titiana compares her slumbering with the bottom to the way a sweet honeysuckle encircles a barky elm. Sleep thou, and I will wind thee in my arms. So doth the wood bind the sweet honeysuckle. There are other meanings, but you know. Orchid to show gratitude for a gift you treasure, and cornflower to show your true devotion to a loved one. And not, last but not certainly not least, foresight is holly. In many European pagan traditions, holly branches were hung in homes to protect against misfortune. Customs this custom was later adopted for the Christmas holidays by the Victorians, who loved to indulge in superstition. Holly often figured in fortune-telling games as well. In Whale, is, it was said that if a girl ran seven laps around a holly tree one way, then seven times around the other way, her future husband would appear to her. You could pair it with Eucalyptus and Lily of the Valley. And remember, this is only four out of 182 meanings that you haven't even made up yourself. You can, by the way. So this is the Book of Knowledge. As you can see, it's titled Floriography. This is where I got, like, my definitions and stuff from. I definitely recommend it if you want to dive deeper into floriography and learn about it more. Because it's super interesting. You might even want to do it yourself. Maybe start a trend. Bring it back. So, this is the thing that I got from the book. And it also shows an illustrated drawing of it. It's really cool. And, of course, you can get it from Amazon. They have everything. And what else do you really have to do? I mean, stay on your phone playing the games. I mean, you might as well try it, right? And if you don't like it, you can send it back. Anyway, um, back to business. These are real pictures of maidens with flowers in their hair. Wait a second. Hold up. Well, that's it for now, guys. And in my future episodes, I'm going to be talking about some of the rules, the customs, the traditions, why they had huge poofy skirts, all of that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.